You know, it's not every day I wake up and I see a headline that I just love so much. <laughs> this one from the Courier Journal. Kentucky Senator Rand Paul is going to Canada for surgery. I <laughs> I cannot keep my excitement for the rest of this video because this is this whole this whole <laughs> this whole situation is just beautiful. Okay? So, uh Rand Paul, who once called himself, or once called universal health care, slavery, which is a quote I'm going to get to in a second, he is going to Canada to pay for surgery, for better surgery than what's available in America. Now, uh, this is surgery, by the way, that is covered for Canadians. So if you're a Canadian, you don't have to pay for this. So let me read uh, more about this. While Shoulders Hernia Hospital is privately owned, like many Canadian hospitals, it receives a majority of its funding from the Ontario government and accepts the Ontario's hospital insurance plan. The hospital's website outlines payments it accepts, including cash, check, or credit card, for those patients, like Paul, who are not covered by Ontario's insurance plan or provincial health insurance plan. So, this is a specialized hospital, which is why it is privately owned, but also still government, uh, largely government-funded. Now, this is a part of the reason why people from all around the world uh, come to this hospital for this surgery, because they are fantastic at what they do. And again, this is not a private hospital. This is largely government funded, which is why Canadians are covered. So more details on this. In Canada, medical care is publicly funded and universally provided through the country's provincial ministry of health, and everyone receives the same base level of care. Paul has called universal health care and nationalized, planned, uh, uh, nationalized options slavery. <laughs> Quote, with regard to the idea whether or not you have a right to health care, it means you believe in slavery, Paul said in 2011. Quote, you're going to enslave not only me, but the janitor at my hospital, the person who cleans my office, the assistants, the nurses. You are basically saying you believe in slavery. Well, I guess Rand Paul believes in slavery. <laughs> this entire story is incredible. Now, I'm Canadian. I've had surgery in Canada. And you know how much it cost me? Nothing. Nothing at all. So, as again, as a Canadian, my surgery is covered. But for Rand Paul, it's estimated to cost uh, for uh, him for this surgery between $5,000 and, and $8,000. Now, um, Again, here's why Rand Paul is coming to Canada for the surgery. Shoulders Hernia Hospital markets itself as, quote, the global leader in non-mesh hernia repair, according to the clinic's website. Kelsey Cooper, a spokeswoman for Paul, said the hospital is privately owned and people come from around the globe for their services. <laughs> so this is one of my favorite parts about this whole story, because Rand Paul's spokeswoman is trying to make it uh, seem like Rand Paul is not being hypocritical here. She's saying, oh, no, it's it's a private hospital. People come from all around the world to go to this private hospital. But again, it is largely government funded. And if America's supposed to be the greatest place for health care, then why isn't Rand Paul getting his hernia, uh, his hernia surgery in America? It's because this Canadian hospital that's, again, largely government funded and a surgery that is covered for Canadians does a better job at this surgery than anybody else, showing you that once again, universal health care is first of all not slavery. I don't even <laughs> I don't even know what the hell that means. But it also uh it, it doesn't mean universal health care doesn't mean that you have worse health care. Again, this is a, a hospital that is a leader in its field. Now um to give you more details on on how this is covered for, for Canadians, to, to give you an idea of, of uh, how our system works here, this is what they say on their website. So uh, under how much does the operation cost, for Ontario patients, Ontario's hospital insurance plan, OHIP, covers all costs to Ontario residents for public, uh, for public ward rate hospital accommodation and physician services. Semi-private rooms are available at an additional cost. Patients with private insurance may be eligible for reimbursement on submission of paperwork we provide to you on discharge. We do not bill insurance companies directly on your behalf. And uh, for non-Ontario Canadian resident patients, provincial health insurance plans cover all costs to Canadian residents for public ward rate hospital accommodation and physician services. Hospital ward charges are billed directly to respective provincial health ministries with applicable physician services subject to payment by patients 
on admission. These fees may be submitted to provincial health plans for reimbursement based on paperwork provided to you on discharge. The amount you'll be reimbursed will be dependent on your province's applicable schedule of medical fees. So all a bunch of uh, this may confuse you, so let me try to just break it down simply. If you are from Ontario, since this hospital is in Ontario, you are completely covered. Now, if you want to pay for a semi-private room, you can add the additional fee on top of that and pay for a semi-private room. But the actual... Uh, the actual the actual work and staying in the hospital is that's all covered. Now, if you are from outside of the province but still a Canadian, you are still covered. But it just gets billed to your uh, own province, and there may be additional fees associated with the procedure since you are not from Ontario. But it is again largely still covered and likely uh, fully covered. But compare this to America, where medical bankruptcies are the most common form of bankruptcy. The kind of bankruptcy that doesn't even exist in Canada. So, I mean, there are a number of reasons uh, reasons here why universal system is just much, much better than the American system. For, uh, 45,000 people a year in the U.S. die to a lack of access to health care, and that's from a Harvard study. Uh, not to mention, I mean, the time wasted dealing with insurance companies, I don't have to deal with any of that shit. Uh, I've gone to the doctor, I don't know, tons of times. I've had surgery once. Never had to deal with any crazy paperwork. Never. Never had to be on the phone debating, uh, oh, why isn't this covered? Why isn't this covered? None of that. I go to the doctor. I come home. I get my surgery. I come home. I mean, it's not it's not that complicated. And for me, trying to understand the American system honestly blows my mind. And there's also the added uh, problem in the U.S. of out-of-pocket expenses, even when you have private insurance. So even if you are covered, even if you have a, a private insurance company, you, ha you have private insurance, the, in many cases, you still have to pay out-of-pocket expenses. And if you've gone through a situation uh, where you're an American and you've had to pay for surgery or you've had surgery, you likely understand this. But again, in Canada, there is none of that shit. So, <laughs> but even apart from that, the idea... That Rand Paul, a guy who has lived his entire life fighting back against universal health care, for him to come to a government-funded hospital in Canada to get his, her his hernia surgery, to me, is just really the most beautiful story uh, that I've heard in quite a while and maybe the top story of 2019.